Hi Space Scouts, I'm Darby and I'm so glad you could join me today. Today we are going to do a Ready Jet Go activity. Ready Jet Go is about an alien boy named Jet Propulsion and his curiosity about space as he goes on adventures with his friends to explore and learn more about space and planet Earth. For today's activity, we will be using the engineer design process. The engineer design process is a series of steps that engineers use to build things. They are one, define the problem, two, imagine and plan, three, create, four, test, five, improve. So, are you ready to be an engineer? Great, because today we are designing and building a lunar lander. But first, we are going to need to look around your house and gather up materials for today's activities. You are going to need things like pencils, paper, marshmallows or cotton balls, markers, soft materials such as tissue paper, paper towels, or sponges, and other materials for building. Paper or plastic cups, maybe some cardboard, pipe cleaners, aluminum foil. As always, you'll need some tape and scissors, and maybe a few recycled materials like paper towel tubes, cardboard boxes, newspapers, or magazines. So go ahead, take a few minutes to look around your house for the materials that you will need to complete today's activity. You can pause the video, collect your items, and then come back and push play for instructions. Okay, are you ready to create your lunar lander? Did you know that the first moon landing was over 50 years ago? Today, you are going to be returning there to build a moon base. Your mission is to build a lunar lander capable of protecting two marshmallow astronauts during their moon landing. If you don't have marshmallows around your house, feel free to use cotton balls or something else soft for your astronaut. But moon landing is tricky. Spacecrafts move very fast as they drop down to the surface, so engineers need to think of ways to help slow down the landing. Remember, your spacecraft has astronauts inside, not crash test dummies. Think about what a safe landing looks like for your astronauts. What are different ways that you can make sure your marshmallow astronauts or cotton ball astronauts have a safe landing? Maybe your lander can roll when it hits the moon or slow down when it hits the moon. And before you start to build, plan your lunar lander design by sketching it on a piece of paper and then build your design. As you can see, I've gathered a few materials together for my lunar lander. I've gathered things like aluminum foil, paper, some pipe cleaners, cups, cotton balls, plastic containers, toilet paper rolls, of course, scissors and tape, just the things that I thought maybe I would need. I'm gonna take you through a few steps of how I created my lunar lander. First, I took an empty plastic container that I found and I wrapped it in aluminum foil because I wanted to create a safe outside for my lunar lander in space. I also took pipe cleaners and wrapped them around and added some cotton balls to the bottom to create a safe landing for my lunar lander. Now, as I mentioned in the materials, you can use marshmallows for your astronauts, or in my case, I'm going to just use cotton balls. So go ahead and place your marshmallows or your cotton balls, but your astronauts inside the lunar lander, and then I'm going to test my lunar lander to see how safe it is when it lands. Once your lunar lander is complete, we're gonna test it by dropping it. Ask questions like, did your marshmallows or did your cotton balls stay inside? Are they safe? If not, what improvements can you make? So let's go ahead and watch as I test mine and then you can have an opportunity to test yours as well. I'm gonna drop it from about this high and see how my astronauts do inside. 
Oh no, they fell out. Hmm. So if I go back to the engineering design process, I can think about ways to maybe improve the design. Seems like they need to be strapped into the lunar lander. So I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to seat belt or strap in my astronauts to see if that helps them be a little safer on the next landing. All right, let's try this again. I'll drop it from about the same height and see if that made the landing a little bit safer. And it did, it worked. So even as it flipped over, my astronauts remained inside the lunar lander. So make sure to make improvements to your lunar lander. Go ahead, test it out. If you need to make improvements, add some items or take away some items and then test again. How does your lunar lander look? Go ahead, hold it up to the screen and show me. Wow, it looks awesome. Thanks so much for joining me today for this fun activity. I hope to see you again soon. Before I blast off, here's where you can go for more Ready, Jet, Go fun games and principles. pbskids.org slash readyjetgo, pbslearningmedia.org and search for Ready, Jet, Go.